Yes, it's so cool. So Andy works uh, with recycled like steel, metal stuff. We were joking. He's got some other works right here. This like kind of Van Gogh style piece right up in the corner. But he does a lot of different things. It's all over his property. Every time we we've been up here once before. His wife is our feather artist we met a while back. He does all this different work with recycled materials. And I, like he started out with the nails. He has just a huge history. Actually, he started out with doing jewelry with leather work, and then now he does all this steel work. And I wanted to point this out too. Gosh, I just not even know where my, my mind is just all over the place. But I didn't notice at first, but this is actually an elephant and it's made entirely out of bolts. Can you see from that angle? I couldn't see from the side. Kind of. But it's of. just so neat. Yeah. It's one I of see many it. oh, pieces he does. Yeah. So I want to talk with Andy. Andy, uh, so we were telling people you have a jewelry background, and I, I need you to tell them how this all started with the steel, which is really funny. Oh, well, I was starting with jewelry. I would take like a. Uh, a bunch, like a thousand dollars worth of jewelry, I'd silver solder them into a bowl <laughs> that was worth about 200 bucks. Yeah. So I had a flaw in my business plan. <laughs> so it's really cool though. So you were saying though, you did been doing the steel work for about 15 years. You've yeah. been kind of doing artistry for 30. Yeah. You started with the jewelry and now you're kind of working the jewelry back in, right? Yeah, I started taking the jewelry um, into my salvage work by adding those fun little uh, bright bits like the, in the, those kind of pieces. It's, um, I do a lot of casting in bronze, which used to, I used to do in silver, but it makes more sense for the bronze to add it into this work. And so, yeah, I do, I have about a thousand different molds that I work with from, and then uh, I, I'm still making more. I made like two or three last week. So I'll spend a lot of time just casting bronze before I ever get to put it into the, the steel work that I'm working on. It's very time consuming and I'm very interested in how it all works. It's funny, I, was, I want to say thank you to Andy because he says it takes him three days to clean his studio. So he cleaned it up <laughs> so we could actually come in here. His wife was saying it's actually quite dangerous if you don't get to kind of put things in the right place. Yeah, she won't even come in at certain <laughs> times. <laughs> it's, it's so, I have sharp pieces on the floor. It's completely covered in metal dust. It's, you know, any metal shop. Is, ah. And so the, to clean it is just, it's a, it's a big project. It's a, pro it's yeah. a big project. I, I had the pressure washer out yesterday. Oh, so. Okay. <laughs> so what's going to happen, though, I know we're all very much interested in how he pulls off these massive pieces. Um, so we're going to go inside his studio, which is right here, and he's going to do a bit of welding and piecing together. Um, he's going to show us basically how he does a piece like this. So this heart right here, how he gets all those little bits in there. So stay tuned. Tuned, and we'll kind of go through that process together. We'll send it back to you. All guys. right, looks beautiful. Now, nah, thanks. Thanks so much. Coming up in the next hour, having to get up at the crack of dawn.